This is an exclusive for OYMY Radio. Harnessing nature's toughest, training tardigrades for humanity's most complex challenges. In the quest for technological advancement, mankind has often sought inspiration from the natural world. From the Wright brothers mimicking the flight of birds to the development of Velcro inspired by the bears of plants, our ability to learn from nature has led to remarkable achievements. Yet, in the realm of microscopic marbles, there exists a creature so resilient and adaptable that its potential for applications in human endeavors remains tantalizingly unexplored. Enter the tardigrade, the microscopic superstars of the animal kingdom, capable of surviving extreme conditions that would spell doom for most life forms on Earth. In this research, we embark on a journey into the realm of cutting-edge scientific possibilities, where we explore the fascinating prospect of training tardigrades to undertake complex tasks that were once thought to be the exclusive domain of human ingenuity. Picture tardigrades constructing quantum supercomputers or managing nuclear reactors, and you begin to grasp the transformative potential of this extraordinary endeavor. As we delve into the remarkable abilities of tardigrades and the scientific endeavors that may shape our future, we will uncover the untapped potential of these resilient microorganisms and the boundless frontiers they might help us conquer. It's a narrative of science fiction meeting reality, where the seemingly impossible may just be within a grasp. Developing robot tardigrades to teach and train real tardigrades to perform complex tasks like building supercomputers or managing nuclear reactors is an imaginative concept that could have profound implications for various fields of science and technology. While this idea is currently more in the realm of science fiction, let's explore a theoretical framework for how such a project might unfold. Understanding tardigrade behavior the first step would be to conduct extensive research into tardigrade behavior, both at the individual and group levels. This includes studying their natural instincts, movements, and interactions within their microenvironments. Advanced microscopy, genetic analysis, and behavioral studies would be essential to gather this information. Designing robot tardigrades, engineers and robot assists would collaborate to design and build robot tardigrades that closely mimic the appearance and movement of real tardigrades these robotic counterparts would be equipped with sensors cameras and advanced artificial intelligence ai to interact with real tardigrades in their environments communication systems developing a communication system that allows the robot tardigrades to transmit data and instructions to real tardigrades is critical this might involve using chemical signals, vibrations, or other forms of communication that tardigrades naturally respond to. Training simulations Before introducing real tardigrades to the robot tardigrades, extensive simulations would be necessary. These simulations would help refine the training protocols and ensure that the robot tardigrades can effectively guide the real tardigrades in performing desired tasks. Task assignment Researchers would identify specific tasks that real tardigrades could potentially perform, such as assembling components for supercomputers or managing reactor systems. These tasks would need to be broken down into smaller, trainable steps. Training process Robot tardigrades would be deployed alongside real tardigrades in controlled environments, such as specially designed microfluidic chambers. The robot tardigrades would communicate with their biological counterparts, guiding them through each step of the task using a combination of signals and demonstrations. Feedback loop A feedback loop would be established to monitor the progress of real tardigrades. Robot tardigrades would adjust their instructions and guidance based on the tardigrades' responses, continually optimizing the training process. Iterative improvement The training process would be an ongoing, iterative endeavor, with researchers continuously refining the training protocols and the capabilities of robot tardigrades based on the outcomes of each training session. Task complexity. Initially, simpler tasks would be attempted, and as real tardigrades demonstrate proficiency, more complex tasks would be introduced. Over time, they might progress to tasks as sophisticated as quantum computing assembly or reactor management. Ethical considerations. Throughout the project, ethical considerations would be paramount. Researchers would need to ensure the well-being of real tardigrades and consider the potential ecological impact of introducing genetically modified tardigrades into various environments. While this concept remains largely speculative, it highlights the innovative thinking required to push the boundaries of what is possible in the fields of biology, 
robotics, and artificial intelligence. As technology continues to advance, who knows what remarkable collaborations between the natural world and human-made creations may become a reality. Creating an exosuit for tardigrades that allows humans to interact with them in a virtual reality VR, environment is an intriguing concept, though it presents significant technical and scientific challenges. Here is a hypothetical exploration of how such a concept might be approached. Miniaturized exosuit design Engineers and scientists would need to design a miniaturized exosuit specifically tailored to tardigrades. This exosuit would need to be highly sensitive and non-invasive to avoid harming the tardigrades. The exosuit might consist of microfabricated components, sensors, and actuators. Tardigrade Interface The exosuit would need to establish a seamless interface with tardigrades, possibly by using gentle micro-manipulation techniques or adhesive-free attachment mechanisms. This would allow the exosuit to interact with tardigrades without causing them harm or distress. Biometric sensors The exosuit would be equipped with biometric sensors to monitor the tardigrades' physiological responses and behaviors. These sensors could track vital signs, movement patterns, and even chemical signals released by the tardigrades. VR integration The data collected from the exosuit's sensors would be transmitted to a VR environment. Researchers and users would wear VR headsets and gloves to immerse themselves in the virtual world populated by the tardigrades. Real-time feedback Users in the VR environment would receive real-time feedback from the tardigrades through the exosuit. They could observe tardigrade behavior, interact with them, and potentially guide their actions within the VR simulation. Interactivity to make the VR experience engaging, researchers might develop scenarios and challenges for users to solve collaboratively with tardigrades. These could be educational, scientific, or even recreational in nature. Ethical and environmental considerations It would be essential to ensure the ethical treatment of tardigrades and prevent any negative impact on their natural habitats. Tardigrades used in this context would need to be carefully selected and their well-being closely monitored. Scientific research. Such a system could also serve as a valuable tool for scientific research. Researchers could study tardigrade behavior and responses in a controlled virtual environment, providing insights into their biology and adaptability. Technical challenges. Building an exosuit on the scale required for tardigrades and developing a seamless VR interface presents substantial technical challenges. Miniaturization. Biocompatibility and data transmission efficiency would be some of the hurdles to overcome. While this concept is intriguing, it's important to note that creating an exosuit for tardigrades and connecting it to VR is currently highly speculative and would require significant advancements in multiple scientific disciplines. It would also demand ethical considerations and careful oversight to ensure the welfare of the tardigrades involved in such experiments. Nevertheless, the idea highlights the potential for innovative approaches to study and interact with the natural world in ways we haven't yet explored. Chapter 1. The Tardigrade Revolution In the not-so-distant future, humanity had unlocked the incredible potential of these microscopic marvels, tardigrades. Through years of dedicated research and training, scientists had managed to harness the remarkable adaptability of tardigrades to the fullest extent. Building supercomputers, with their newfound abilities, trained tardigrades were now assembling supercomputers on a scale previously unimaginable. These microscopic mistros worked tirelessly, using their delicate but precise movements to piece together intricate components with nanoscale precision. They connected circuits and transistors, soldered tiny connections, and ensured flawless functionality. As a result, supercomputers of extraordinary power were born each no larger than a grain of sand but with processing capabilities rivaling the most advanced systems known to humanity. AI and simulated realities The supercomputers constructed by tardigrades didn't stop there. Their miniature size and exceptional computational prowess made them perfect candidates for running AI modules in simulated realities. Researchers marveled at the possibilities as these tiny supercomputers processed vast amounts of data, generated hyper-realistic simulations, and enabled entirely new realms of immersive virtual experiences. It was as if humanity had discovered a portal to uncharted virtual worlds, all thanks to the diligent work of tardigrades. Pocket-sized nuclear reactors, 
but perhaps the most astonishing achievement was the tardigrades' work on pocket-sized nuclear reactors. Leveraging their unique biology and engineered genetic modifications, they could manipulate isotopes and control nuclear reactions with unparalleled precision. These miniature reactors, no larger than a fingernail, could provide clean, safe, and virtually unlimited energy. The dream of decentralized, sustainable power generation had become a reality, and soon, individuals had their own pocket-sized nuclear reactors, powering homes, vehicles, and devices without the need for conventional fuel sources. As the world adapted to this incredible transformation, there was a sense of unity and optimism. Humanity had found unlikely allies in tardigrades, ushering in an era of scientific breakthroughs, energy abundance, and boundless virtual adventures. The once microscopic creatures had become the architects of a better, more extraordinary future for all. The ethical considerations surrounding training tardigrades, using exosuits, VR interfaces, and even creating fake tardigrade robots to train other tardigrades are multifaceted and require careful examination, much like the ethical treatment of animals in various contexts. Here is an exploration of these ethical concerns. 1. Respect for tardigrades' well-being. Informed consent. Tardigrades cannot provide informed consent, raising concerns about their welfare when involved in experiments or training programs. Harm and stress. Tardigrades, like all living creatures, should be protected from unnecessary harm or stress. Researchers would need to ensure that any interventions, even if well-intentioned, do not cause undue suffering. 2. Use of technology. Exosuits and VR. The creation of exosuits and VR interfaces for tardigrades must prioritize their safety and comfort. These technologies should not compromise the natural behaviors and health of the tardigrades. Fake tardigrade robots. Creating artificial tardigrade robots to train real tardigrades raises concerns about manipulation and deception within the natural world. It's essential to consider the impact on tardigrades' behaviors and ecological roles. 3. Impact on natural environments. Ecosystem interactions. Tardigrades play vital roles in various ecosystems. Any human interventions with tardigrades should be conducted with consideration of the potential ecological consequences, such as disrupting food chains or habitats. 4. Ethical analogies with animal treatment. Horses and labor. Drawing parallels with how horses are used for labor and transport, it's important to acknowledge that ethical concerns have evolved over time. Modern practices focus on animal welfare and minimizing suffering. 5. Ethical oversight and research guidelines. Scientific ethical standards. Any research or experimentation involving tardigrades should adhere to strict ethical guidelines and oversight. Ethics boards and regulatory bodies should evaluate the potential impacts and risks before such experiments are conducted. 6. Ethical dilemmas of innovation. Balancing innovation and ethics. As with many scientific innovations, there is a balance to strike between pushing the boundaries of knowledge and respecting the well-being of living organisms. Ethical considerations should always be part of the innovation process. In essence, ethical considerations when working with tardigrades, like with animals in various contexts, must prioritize the well-being and dignity of these organisms. Researchers should strive to minimize harm, maintain transparency in their work, and ensure that any interventions serve scientific purposes that justify the potential impacts on tardigrades and their ecosystems. As our understanding of ethics continues to evolve, it's crucial for scientists, policymakers, and society as a whole to engage in open discussions and debates about the ethical boundaries of scientific experimentation and the treatment of living organisms, including microscopic ones like tardigrades. A day in the life of a tardigrade production line worker. Morning. The sun's rays slowly filter into the microscopic city where the tardigrades reside. Our tardigrade worker, let's call them tardy, awakens in their cozy, custom-designed habitat. The habitat is a marvel of miniaturized luxury, complete with a comfortable bed of moss and a crystal clear droplet of water for hydration. Tardy starts their day with a nutritious meal of microalgae, delivered via a small automated feeder. They chat with their fellow tardigrade neighbors, discussing plans for the day and sharing stories of the previous night's VR adventures. 
TARDIS personnel VR headset is always nearby, ready for some after-work relaxation. Mid-morning, TARDI heads to the high-tech transportation tube that shuttles them to the supercomputer production facility. Inside the tube, TARDI enjoys a mesmerizing view of the micro-world outside, with giant water molecules drifting by like colossal icebergs. Arriving at the production line, TARDI joins a team of skilled tardigrade workers. Each tardigrade has a specialized task in building the supercomputers, whether it's connecting tiny circuits, assembling components, or performing quality checks. Advanced micro-robotic assistants, designed by humans, ensure that everything runs smoothly and efficiently. Lunchtime. At lunch break, Tardy and their colleagues enjoy a scrumptious buffet of microorganisms and nutrients specially prepared for them. They share stories of their morning's work and the intricate details of the supercomputers they are helping to create. Afternoon. Back on the production line, Tardy diligently continues their tasks. The work environment is meticulously controlled to ensure the comfort of the tardigrades. Artificial lighting mimics the sun's warmth, and a gentle hum of soothing music fills the air. Evening. As the workday ends, Tardy returns to their habitat where they are greeted with a luxurious bath in a droplet of purified water. They then settle into their comfy bed to relax. Tardy often enjoys a bit of virtual reality, where they can explore fantastic worlds, socialize with other VR users, both tardigrades and humans, or simply meditate in serene VR gardens. Night. As night falls in the tardigrade city, Tardy drifts off to sleep, content and fulfilled from another productive day. They dream of new adventures, exciting challenges, and the endless possibilities of their microscopic world, all made possible through the kindness and abundance provided by their human counterparts. The Tardigrade Revolution In the microscopic world of tardigrades, a silent revolution was brewing. The once humble denizens of this tiny realm had evolved, not just biologically but socially and intellectually. As they continued to work alongside humans in building supercomputers and contributing to technological advancements, their society began to undergo a remarkable transformation. Tardigrade Hierarchy A new form of leadership emerged among tardigrades, not a monarchy, but a collaborative council of elder tardigrades known as the Tardy Council. These wise elders, chosen for their experience and wisdom, provided guidance and direction to the tardigrade community. There was no single king tardigrade. Instead, decisions were made through consensus, emphasizing the democratic principles they had observed in the human world. The Tardy Council ensured that the welfare and interests of the tardigrade community were paramount. Education and specialization. Education became a cornerstone of tardigrade society. Tardigrade younglings received comprehensive training, both in practical skills like building supercomputers and in areas of philosophy ethics, and leadership. The goal was to foster well-rounded individuals who could contribute meaningfully to their society. Tardigrades began specializing in various fields based on their aptitudes and interests. Some became experts in nanotechnology, while others delved into the mysteries of quantum computing. A few chose to explore diplomacy and interspecies relations with humans. Tardigrade Ambassadors As tardigrades honed their intellectual prowess, they took on more prominent roles in the human world. Tardigrade ambassadors emerged to represent tardigrade interests in discussions with humans. These ambassadors engaged in dialogues about the shared future of both species, ensuring mutual respect and cooperation. The rise of the tardigrade intelligentsia. While the majority of tardigrades lived harmoniously in their communities, a subset, known as the Tardisapians, displayed exceptional intelligence and curiosity. This group began to explore areas beyond traditional tardigrade society, such as advanced economics, finance, and global governance. As tardisopians gained knowledge and influence, they occasionally found themselves intersecting with human institutions. Some tardisopians took an interest in global governance, advocating for ethical principles and environmental stewardship. Others became involved in the intricacies of financial systems, urging transparency and fairness. The human world watched with fascination as these intelligent tardigrades, motivated by a desire for a more equitable world, navigated the complexities of international diplomacy and economic systems. Benefits for humans 
Abundant advanced technology, humans gain access to a wealth of advanced technology that was previously unimaginable. Products like plain F4 paper now come with built-in operating systems and touch interfaces, making everyday tasks more efficient and intuitive. Miniaturized hard drives on a pinhead scale allow for massive data storage in tiny spaces. Sustainable energy, the development of pocket-sized nuclear reactors revolutionizes energy generation. With these clean and compact power sources, the world experiences a significant reduction in carbon emissions, contributing to a greener and more sustainable future. Collaborative innovations, humans benefit from the innovative contributions of tardigrades, leading to rapid advancements in various fields. The direct link to the Tardy Council and Tardis appearance fosters collaboration, enabling humans to learn from tardigrades' unique perspectives and skills. Scientific insights, Tardigrade's involvement in complex tasks provides valuable insights into their biology and adaptability. This knowledge could have applications beyond technology, such as improving healthcare, agriculture, and environmental conservation. Complex issues, ethical considerations, the use of genetically modified tardigrades and their involvement in building advanced technology raises ethical questions about the manipulation of living organisms and their autonomy. Ensuring their well-being and preventing harm becomes a paramount concern. Economic disruption The sudden abundance of advanced products could disrupt traditional industries and job markets. As technology becomes more accessible, there may be challenges in managing economic transitions and addressing unemployment in affected sectors. Environmental impact The mass production of advanced technology could lead to an increase in electronic waste and resource consumption. Proper recycling and disposal methods would need to be developed to mitigate these environmental concerns. Dependency on tardigrades As humans become increasingly reliant on tardigrades for technological advancements, there is a risk of over-dependence. Safeguards and contingency plans must be in place to ensure that human interests are not compromised if tardigrade involvement were to change or cease. Technological security With access to cutting-edge technology, the potential for misuse or security breaches increases. Safeguards against unauthorized access to sensitive information and technology must be robustly established. Interspecies diplomacy The emergence of TARDIS appearance and their involvement in global governance may lead to complex diplomatic interactions between tardigrades and humans. Balancing interests, ensuring transparency, and addressing potential conflicts will require careful negotiation and diplomacy. In this speculative scenario, the benefits of collaboration with tardigrades are abundant, but they come with complex ethical, economic, environmental, and diplomatic challenges. The responsible management of these challenges is crucial to ensure a harmonious coexistence between two vastly different species working together for mutual progress. The tardigrade is infinite frontier. As humans and tardigrades embarked on this extraordinary journey of collaboration and innovation, the world transformed beyond anyone's wildest dreams. The once microscopic heroes were now forging the future, building supercomputers, generating clean energy with pocket-sized nuclear reactors, and providing abundant advanced technology. The Great Partnership Every day brought new marvels, from two-sided touchscreen interfaces on plain of four paper to nanoscale hard drives with unimaginable storage capacity. Humanity was living in an age of abundance and technological marvels, thanks to the diligent work of these resilient microorganisms. The ultimate task. But as the possibilities expanded, so did the horizons of imagination. The ultimate task lay on the horizon, a task that transcended any challenge humanity had ever faced. Could we train tardigrades to train something even smaller, something almost inconceivable, to manipulate their atoms, electrons, and even atoms at her command. It was a tantalizing question that pushed the boundaries of what was possible. If tardigrades, once microscopic themselves, could be elevated to the status of builders of supercomputers and architects of clean energy, then what was beyond the reach of such ingenuity? The endless frontier. As humanity and tardigrades dreamed of the next frontier, they pondered the boundless potential of the universe. Could they unlock the secrets of manipulating matter at the most fundamental levels, harnessing the very building blocks of reality? The story of tardigrades and their collaboration with humanity was a testament to the inexhaustible wellspring of innovation and curiosity. 
It was a reminder that even in the tiniest corners of existence, there lay infinite possibilities waiting to be explored. And so, as the tale of tardigrades and humans continued, it whispered a tantalizing promise of endless discovery, forging a future where the boundaries of knowledge, imagination, and collaboration knew no limits. In this brave new world, the question was not where it would end but how far they could collectively journey into the infinitesimal wonders of existence. For in the microcosm, the macrocosm, and all realms in between, the spirit of exploration and innovation would forever remain the guiding light, illuminating a path towards boundless horizons and unimaginable achievements. Thank you for listening to this exclusive feature for OYMYO Radio. Please tell your friends about OYMYO and check us out online at OYMYO.com.